you don't really have the confidence that you need. And what happens is you're projecting it onto her and you're trying to reduce her expectations so that she can actually look at you as more than what you really are instead of mastering your craft, continuing to grow and evolve and becoming a better version of yourself. Mastering your craft is beyond what it is that you do for a living. It's mastering yourself. It's becoming the best version of yourself every single day. And that is going to be the thing that propels you to be successful in every area of your life. Your ability to be able to communicate to a woman is going to be the exact same ability to be able to communicate to executives and sell a brand. You know, I was on a, uh, a coaching call earlier this morning and I was talking to my boy Rome. I was talking to Rome. And I was telling Rome, he said, Anton, you know, because I talked to him literally um, right before our live stream. And he said, Anton, um, is this supposed to be pulled out? I guess so. Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. I was talking to him and he said, Anton, um, how are you preparing for the show? And you on the phone with me. And so I said, Rome, I don't really prepare for the show. Do you guys know that it probably takes me close to 25 minutes to prepare for this show every single morning? Meaning that um, between the cover photo, getting everything ready on YouTube, figuring out what it is that I want to talk about on a regular basis. And wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Figuring out what I want to talk about. This is for you, boo. Ordered it, came in this morning. This is your new 13 Pro Max. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Stainless steel all around the side. Listen, I got to keep you laced with the best, baby girl. I got to keep you laced with the best. You up here cooking all this good breakfast, taking care of daddy, making sure that I'm all taken care of. I'm never going to let your feet hit the ground. I got to make sure you got the best of everything. The absolute best of everything. So, here, come on over here and get your device. Thank you. Give me the the older one and I'll take care of uh, getting you set up with this. So, we just need to transfer your information. There you go. Oh, here, let me take this off. Took long enough to come. I feel like I ordered this thing a long time ago. There you go. You. You're welcome, babe. I love you. I love you too. I'm not camera ready, so I'll be here. No worries. Anyways, but um, shout out to Uncle Stu. He says, "Great show last night. Now I gotta step up <laughs> the game tonight. Thanks for the knowledge, love, and prayers, Uncle Stu. I'll be calling you shortly." My boy Rome said, "Get to it, no matter what it takes." That's my guy. I love you guys. I absolutely love rocking with y'all in the morning and, and and doing things. But let me get back to the story. So I was talking to Roman. I was telling him that, yo, I don't take a long time to prepare for the show. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about prior to, I would say, at least an hour before I go live every morning. He says, bro, that's crazy. How do you do that? Like, how do you not miss? How do you bring so much relevant information? How is it that you're able to do that? And so I figured... You know, because a lot of the inspiration that I get comes from the conversations that I have when I do these morning monologues and I start to go into this stuff prior to actually digging into the money. A lot of the information or what it is that I'm going to talk about really stems from my real life. Like I really lean on and God has always told me, I know y'all don't believe it, but I'm telling y'all that it's real. God has always told me that he is going to give me whatever it is that I'm supposed to talk about. Right. And I largely depend on that in order to in order to deliver what I need to deliver, because I don't want to just be giving out a bunch of random information. The information that I give you guys on a daily basis. Hey, Rita, can you bring me some scissors so I can cut this off? The information that I give you guys on a daily basis, it has to come from a real source of truth and authenticity in that time because. Thank you. 
it has to come from a source of truth and authenticity in that time because I have to lean on divine transfer simply because I feel like it has to be something that's relevant to somebody that's listening to me for that day. So if I just give you a bunch of random information and I just research a bunch of stuff and I just talk, talk about stuff, that doesn't help you because I'm depending on something bigger than myself to feed you the information that you need not only to be successful, but to carry you throughout the week, which is one of the reasons why I switched the show into being the morning show because I feel like throughout the day, you're going to endure through so many different things throughout your day. You're going to run into the negative Nancy's. You're going to run into the shade room information. Somebody is going to get killed. You're going to get some news. The news is going to give you all of this trash throughout the day. So I have to prepare you. I have to give you that. Oomph. I got to help gird you up and get you ready and going on your day throughout the day. And one of the reasons and one of the issues that I've always had with the church is that when you would show up on Wednesday for Bible study or you would show up for church on Sunday, literally the minute that you left out the door, it was good. And he did the and all of that other type of stuff. But at the end of the day, you didn't have anything to actually implement into your life that was going to help you be a better version of yourself or carry you through all of the things that you were going to endure through through the week. And so I always said that if I ever was to be able to pour into somebody or to pour into people, I was going to give them some tangible information. I was going to give them tools. I was going to teach them consciously and subconsciously without them even knowing how it is that they need to think and how it is that they can execute differently so that they can actually get the results in their marriage, get the results in their lives, get the results in a boardroom, get the results at their job and get the results when it comes to their investments. I want you to live a life of abundance, not necessarily be subjected to your circumstances. And then in that case, you start to react instead of being proactive. I had a guy that walked up to me. I was at the Pistons game yesterday. Yeah, shout out to the Lakers and the Pistons. I didn't even think LeBron was going to suit up. I've almost got rid of those tickets, but it was a very, very great entertaining game. Um, I loved it. I had a ball and I was sitting in a Riemann club and a Riemann club is uh, a club that you go in and you can eat and you can chill depending on the level of tickets that you have. And so because I like to switch back and forth between the Motor City Club and a Riemann club and then occasionally go into the Legends Club, that video will drop tomorrow or actually it'll drop today. It'll drop today. I'm chilling and the guy walks up to me and said, Anton, you changed my freaking life. His name is real. We actually exchange numbers and information or whatever. Um, yeah, shout out to real. Shout out to you can't see that. You can't see, see real right there. Shout out to real. And so I was talking to real yesterday. He said, fam, you changed my freaking life. I said, what's going on? He said, fam, I've been following you since before the gambling video. If you look me up and you type in Anton Daniels gambling on YouTube, you'll see that it'll, it'll be a video that pop up and it's got over 1.4 million views. Right. And he said, bro, I met you back when I first started going to the casino. I said, really? He said, bro, you are the realest dude ever. He said, you probably not real enough. Rita, am I lying? Seriously, am I lying? He said, bro, you had way more money on the table and you used to warn me and say, bro, don't get involved with this. Don't play it. And and I, he said he used to look at me and he used to see all of the money that I had on the table because I used to carry about, you know, anywhere between 20 and $50,000 when I went to the casino. I was stupid and ignorant, right? I used to carry literally like a red pouch and it would have bundles of money in it and I would go and gamble. And this was over, you know, four or five years ago. And so he said, you warned me. And he said, I lost my money that day. He said, and then I came back and I used to see you here all the time. And he said, you warned me again. And he said that I told him that if he lost money again, that don't ever come back. He said he lost. I gave him his money. I would do this regularly. I did this to my little brother. He went to the casino. He got curious. He said, I want to, I want to play. He lost his money. I gave him his money back. And I said, don't ever come back. This is, this ain't for you, bro. He said, I completely changed my life. He said, I leveled up. He's sitting in the Rima club with me. So he's doing well. He said, I leveled up. My life is phenomenal. And that was the best lesson that ever happened to me. So when I seen you online and I seen you talking about the whole gambling thing and I seen people coming at you, listen, people been coming at me for my whole life. 
my whole life. He said, when I seen people coming at you and saying that that must be cap and all of that, if you go to that video, you'll see even uh, pit bosses and certain people is in there like, yeah, listen, it was way bigger than what he even said. But he said that I just feel sorry for people that don't listen to the message and what it is that you're trying to put into them because they don't truly get the value out of it. They're so busy focused on the entertainment aspect of whatever it is that you're saying instead of being focused on the lessons that you can get from it. Long story short, right? We exchanged information. We agreed to stay in contact. And then he asked me how it is that I'm able to communicate so easily and talk to people and run into people. And I'm the same way that I am in person that I am online. And so it's the same or similar conversation that I was having with Rome. Uh, and Rome was one of the people that showed up to the Patreon exclusive meetup at, in Miami and dope dude, homeboy. That's my dog. I felt like I knew him before I ever met him. And I've also found that most people are timid when they walk up to me, when they say things to me, when you see a woman that you think is beautiful, you are scared to death to walk up to her. Women have largely lived in a life where they've had the luxury to, to not have to worry about walking up to somebody and starting a conversation out of thin air. But they have the same problem because it translates across the board. I've always been comfortable. I've always been outspoken. I've always had no problem because I was willing to challenge whatever was normal in society today. What's normal in society is people are, they'd rather shoot their shot on a DM than actually walk up to a girl. And then if you ask them, hey, yo, why you ain't interacting with people in person? Because let's be clear, your in life, real life interactions are much different than what you're going to experience online. It's much more severe and outlandish online and cap. But in real life, it's much different. You're not running into no chicks that's making it difficult for you and all of this other type of stuff, right? But most people are deathly afraid of public speaking. They deathly afraid of walking up to somebody and starting a conversation and, and out of thin air. They're deathly afraid of other people. And so they hide behind their devices and send messages and DMs and they get online and they do whatever it is that they do. But when you see them in person, it's a completely different kind. Even these famous people, these entertainers, these rappers, these influencer, they are awkward when you run into them in person they are the weirdest weirdos i've ever seen in my life some of these people have no idea how to interact with people in real life and they have millions of followers and millions of views and all of this type of stuff they have no idea what it's like to actually be able to have a conversation in real life even in school right even in school the way that i learned was that i didn't take notes Occasionally, I would get a recorder and I would record so I can reinforce whatever it is that the teacher was teaching. But I just paid very close attention to what the teacher was saying. And that's how I was able to glean whatever it was that he was putting out. It's the same way today. Right. The same way that I'm comfortably able to talk to you guys at the Patreon exclusive meetups and when you see me in person and how it is that I am online and how I'm so excited and comfortable to come to you and talk to you guys every day is the exact same way that I am when I meet somebody, when I'm able to walk up to a person and generate a conversation out of thin air. And it even translates into the boardroom. You have to master your craft in every single aspect of your life and have it translate across the board because that is the way in which you're going to truly be successful. If you are late to your job, you're going to be late to your date. You're going to be late to your funeral. If you are the type of person that is excited and bubbly at your job, you should be excited and bubbly when you get home. And if you are having problems creating that environment, then you, you need to take the same steps to create the culture at home and put that same amount of effort into your wife and your kids and creating a loving environment in the same way that you are placing that effort in the people that you interact with every day at your job because they are paying you. Master your craft, put in your 10,000 hours. Stop being so afraid of people. Stop being afraid to branch out and become a better version of yourself. It's a reason, and people will tell you, it's a reason why 
And, you know, we could do all of this online video camera stuff. Listen, when I come to y'all in the metaverse and I'm walking across the stage on the metaverse, you're going to see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's the reason why when your chick is around me in real life, she go home feeling a certain type of way because she realized you're not the man that you're supposed to be. You don't really have the confidence that you need. And what happens is you're projecting it onto her and you're trying to reduce her expectations so that she can actually look at you as more than what you really are instead of mastering your craft, continuing to grow and evolve and becoming a better version of yourself. Mastering your craft is beyond what it is that you do for a living. It's mastering yourself. It's becoming the best version of yourself every single day and that is going to be the thing that propels you to be successful in every area of your life. Your ability to be able to communicate to a woman is going to be the exact same ability to be able to communicate to executives and sell a brand. 